Oh my god guys, welcome to another video. Today's video tutorial is going to be very very helpful. But before we continue with the video guys, it's very helpful to me and for the Oh my god community to grow, for you to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. If you find this video useful, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and again, subscribe. Let's begin. <laughs> Oh my god! Welcome back everyone, hope you guys are doing amazing. Today's video is about understanding congruent segments and angles, what they are used for, how we can recognize them, and how can we actually use them in a problem. So let's begin. So we're going to be learning about congruent segments and angles. First of all, congruent segments are segments that have the same length and the same number of tick marks shows that the congruence, um, the segments are congruent. So in this case, we have AB, uh, we have a single tick mark, and uh, we have ZX, and uh, we have also a single um, tick mark. That means that AB is congruent and this is the symbol for congruent with zx okay so that means that whatever is the length of the segment ab the length of ab is going to be equal to the length of zx so if ab is five centimeters long zx is also five centimeters long and we're also going to be talking about congruent angles so the same thing, congruent angles are angles that have the same measure and the same number of tick marks or arc mark um, shows that actually two angles are congruent. So in this case, um, the measurement um, of the angle WVY, so WVY is going to be the same as the measurement of the angle MQL or LQM. So LQM. Why? Because since we have the same tick marks and the same um, arc marks, we know that the angles are congruent. And if two angles are congruent, that means that their measurements are equal. Okay, so have to take that into account. Now we're going to try solving a problem. So suppose EG is equal to 3, EB is equal to 8, AF is 7. The measurement of angle EBG, EBG, so this one right here, is 19 degrees. The measurement of angle EGF, E, G, F, so this one right here, is 28 degrees. And the measurement of angle C, A, E, again, C, A, E, so this whole angle right here, C, A, E, is going to be 51 degrees. So find each value. So the first value they're asking us is E, F. So as we can see, EF has a single tick mark, and that single tick mark is shared with EG. That means that segment EF is congruent with segment EG. That means that EF is equal to the measurement of EG, so EF is equal to 3. It is very important to, to first say that it is congruent, and then I can say that the measurements are equal. If I skip a step, be mindful, because you may be losing points right there in the procedure. Next, we have AG. So again, we have AG. AG is the same thing as a E plus E G, correct? And now A E 
has the same tick mark as EB. So we know that AE is congruent with EB because they have the same tick mark. So AE is equal to EB, that means that it is equal to 8. So AE is 8 and EG is 3, so 8 plus 3 is 11. Now we go with 3, which is AD. Now, AD. AD is going to be the same as AF, which is the whole segment, minus DF. We know that AF is 7, and we know that DF is actually just going to be 3, meaning that AD is going to be 4. What about EFG? Okay, so EFG has the same mark as EGF. That means that they are going to be congruent. So the angle EFG is going to be congruent with angle EGF, meaning that their measurements are going to be equal. And what that means is that it's going to be 28 degrees. What about CAF? Well, CAF is going to be just this tiny bit right here. And the measurement of angle CAF is going to be the measurement of angle CAE minus the measurement of the angle F-A-E. And because we know that the angle F-A-E is the same as the angle E-B-G, that means that that is going to be 19 degrees. So that means that C-A-E, which is 51 degrees, we're going to subtract, we're going to subtract 19 degrees. So that means that the angle is going to be 51 minus 19 degrees, which is going to be 32 degrees. And then, last but not least, we have DF. And DF, we have the same tick mark as EF and as EG. So DF the segment is going to be congruent with EG. So that means that the measurement of DF is going to be the same measurement as EG, which is going to be three. And that is going to be your end. As you can see by this procedure right here, it is not as complicated. You just have to remember quite some things. As you can see in this problem of congruency, you have to actually use problems of the postulates we have already seen. And you actually have to remember to first put the two segments or two angles are congruent in order to say that their measurements are the same. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I would recommend you um, starting from scratch and then doing it once or twice more so that you get those math skills boosted. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills and make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts, drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye!